Uh, I've been blowing glass since 1978, 38 years. It's just a different medium that people don't know a lot about. And that you, you work with glass, you, you use glass every day, and a lot of people don't know where it comes from or how it's made. And it's just that sort of knowledge and, and, and working with the pieces, it's, it's still a rush. Uh, I went to the Tyler School of Art in Philadelphia and I went as a uh, ceramics major and part of the ceramics studio was a glass blowing studio. It caught my imagination. It, it, it was always hot and loud and always something happening there. It was open 24 hours. It just looked like a place to be. The challenges are the new pieces challenge is coming up with a piece and then deconstructing it and figuring out what your steps are going to be and actually working on those steps to, to make it so that you come out with that finished piece. So the hardest pieces are the ones you're still working on. I have pieces that have lots of different layers and are bigger and but not maybe as intricate as some of the smaller pieces. Come try it out. When you're watching somebody blow glass, it's like watching somebody you know, play the piano, or you, know, you, you say, that can't be that hard. And when you actually pick it up and try doing it, it's a lot harder than it looks. I really struggled at first to make a piece, and I'm very, I'm, I'm, I'm very precise, and I need, the pieces need to be just so. And I was very picky when I first started about getting my pieces just right, and it, it interrupted the learning process. glass, it's, oh, it's immediate. It's, you, you make the piece, you work on it, you finish it, and the piece that you're looking at is pretty much the piece that you get when it comes out of the oven the next day. I'd like to make a piece that I think that I would want to buy, I would want to have in my house. I like the reaction I get from people who see my pieces and like my pieces, and that feedback is really, really what I'm looking for.